homeowners hit hard by Hurricane Helene are getting a second shock. And this time, it's from their insurance companies. While they're ready to rebuild, many are finding out that their claims are not covered. Here's the deal. Insurance companies still reeling from past natural disasters have tightened their policies. They've added exclusions and high deductibles, especially for wind-related damage, so some homeowners are left with nothing. Even worse, most standard policies don't cover flood damage. In the hardest-hit areas like Asheville, North Carolina, fewer than 1 in 100 homeowners have flood insurance. People either want to keep premiums low, or they just don't think disaster will strike. Helene has caused between 15 and 26 billion in damage, but insured losses? Expected to hit between 5 and 15 billion. That means millions of people are on the hook for repairs. To add insult to injury, insurers are often pushing back, blaming all damage on flooding, even when wind played a role. This can lead to long, drawn-out legal battles. Hurricane Ian hit Florida two years ago, and over 50,000 claims are still unresolved. Will Helene victims face the same fate? And now, just as homeowners begin to recover from Helene, residents have braced themselves for a new monster storm. Tampa Mayor Jane Castor offered a dire warning for Hurricane Milton, a Category 5 storm, saying, If you choose to stay, you're going to die. Milton is predicted to bring a 10 to 12 foot storm surge, double what we saw with Helene. To stay informed on the impact of the storms, follow TheRealDeal.com.